big rip, dude. This won't even close. It won't even press. Man, I don't even know where to start. I am stupid. How do I even begin to explain this story? I was at my friend Josh's house. Now Josh, you guys know Josh. He's been in a few of my videos. He's one of the very first friends I made in college and he's become one of my best friends today. I was at his house, you know, we're playing Smash. I brought my saxophone over. Now, the day before this, he took his broken mouthpiece to the shop to get repaired. The next day, he had to go and retrieve it, and it was about an hour away. So, I just decided to use this time to leave myself and go back home. So, one hand, I got my saxophone, and my other arm was just full of my other stuff. So, I walked to my car, and I put my saxophone down right on the side. Yeah, kind of foreshadowing something already. And I opened one of the doors, and I put my completely full arm of stuff. I put all the stuff in the car. And then before I put my saxophone in, Josh comes out. And so I'm kind of like sidetracked. Josh going to his car. I'm like, all right, man. His car is parked right in front of mine. And we're like saying bye. I'm like, all right, bro, see you later. I think we're making some jokes. I forgot what I said. My mind had completely left my saxophone at this point. And so I just go in my car thinking I had everything packed because my hands weren't full at all. My hands were completely empty. And so. I reverse my car and then he starts driving forward and I was like oh wait a second I can just go forward this is a little easier little did I know I toppled my saxophone over with my car I didn't hear it though so since I toppled my saxophone over after reversing I decided to drive forward right over the saxophone I just toppled so I drive forward not seeing any of this and then my car gets stuck I'm like, oh man, is there a big drain over here? And then, you know, I press the gas a little bit. I'm like, man, I must be in a little hole. Wow, what a hazard. How did I not see this? I should have picked a better parking spot. So I just mash on the gas and it's just I was like, man, that must have been a big hole. Hold on, let me drive forward and turn around and look at it. And as I was turning, I did not see a hole. I saw a deformed saxophone case. The amount of terror I felt in my heart in that moment was unfathomable. My heart fell all the way to my butt. I still can't. I'm not sure what I'm most sad about. The fact that my saxophone has gotten destroyed or the fact that I have to live with the rest of my life knowing I'm that guy. I'm one of those guys that has fully run over their saxophone with a car. How? How did this happen? And when I saw it, I was like, are you serious? I was freaking out. My heart was pounding. It was like I just killed someone. I've been playing this saxophone since 10th grade. So, the first thing I did was text my professor. Now, I was too embarrassed to tell him what happened. So I just said, hey, um... Something happened to my saxophone, and I'm too embarrassed to explain what it is. But, long story short, it's not playable at all. <laughs> and I told my parents, I told them the truth right off the bat, when you lie to your parents, it never pays off, ever. So, I just told them. <laughs> my mom especially laughed at me. They were down to buy me a new saxophone. And I was like, okay, but, you know, I really didn't want them to spend money on me for a new saxophone. I mean, that, that's a lot of money. And I was gonna have to help pay it off, which um, hurts because I'm trying to save up money for my housing and graduate school in Miami. So I was like, there has to be a cheaper alternative. So my professor finally replied and told me about this guy named Ken Beeson. He gave me his number and I gave it a call immediately. And after talking to Ken Beeson, Holy crap, this guy is the real deal. He's been overhauling saxophones since 1981. That's almost twice the amount of time I've been living. He's worked on horns for David Sanborn, Jerry Braganzi, Bob Shepard, Ed Kaye, and even Joe Henderson. Everyone trusts this guy. He's even been the repair guy for the Airmen of Note and the President's own U.S. Marine Band. 
So the more I talked to this man, the more I could sense just how well he is at his craft. He was telling me that he has technology that can edit things at the thousandth of a millimeter. And I asked him, I was like, okay, should I just, should I buy a new horn? He's good friends with my professor. And they both agreed that they could just fix up my horn, make it even better and more updated than it was when it was brand new. And I can invest in a tenor saxophone because tenor saxophone is very important. And it's pretty sad that I still don't own my own. So the overhaul is gonna cost $1,200. But that's better than spending about four grand on a brand new saxophone when this guy supposedly can make my saxophone even better than it was brand new. This guy is also able to edit things and make it sound like a Mark VI. And to a lot of people's beliefs, people say that his edited horns play better than a Mark VI. So this experience went from a very negative one the one like I'm super excited about now. Okay, so I'm gonna go to bed and tomorrow morning I'm gonna show you my saxophone and I'm gonna try to play it. I haven't played it yet. Surprisingly, all the mouthpieces and stuff and even the reed case was fine, but my saxophone is, is not looking too great. I'll show you in the morning. Good night, it is 3 a.m. I just woke up, check me out. Great bed head, wow, wow, amazing. I would shower first, but I have to hurry and get this turned in. So what I'm going to do first is play the saxophone for you. I haven't played it yet. I want to see if it works. Here it is. Okay, so the first sign of damage is I had a tag on here. Got completely ripped off. The next sign of damage is if you look here, all my straps just got wrecked. Just get wrecked. The corners destroyed. Just... I feel so much friction now. Here's more sign of damage, look at that. Just got wrecked. Saxophone won't even close properly anymore. Oh man, I got beat up. How, how do my books inside of here look? Okay, I got the Caprice. This is still fine. Um, some etudes. Furling, still good. Select so study is still good. I have any, didn't really have anything else in here at the moment. Okay, so this is going over here for now. Okay, so let's open it. Oh, God. Doesn't feel great. Okay, so it doesn't look broken. It's definitely repairable. But let me show you some things. First thing that jumped out to me was the front key got wrecked. The next thing I got wrecked is the palm keys, they're just all bent. They just feel terrible now. They're way too low. The palm key F, I have to bring my finger all the way down like this just to click it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The C sharp, something doesn't feel right with the C sharp. There's some extra resistance now. Check out my side keys. They were perfectly even with each other. Now they've got some leverage issues. The side key E fingering also feels a bit stuffy. I have to put some extra pressure onto it. And what took the biggest beating of all was this. Big rip, dude. Look at this. This won't even close. It won't even press. And this just, this isn't beautiful. Look at that, it got caved in there. C key just destroyed. Like, I won't even open. Get wrecked. All my mouthpieces I checked were all protected in this little crevice here. Here's the John Thomas. Here's the Sios. Here's the other Sios. And here is the Meyer 7M. If you like these bags, by the way, my friend is selling these for multiple colors. Link is in the description. I really like this bag. And we're good. Our Meyer 7 is good. This case did a good job. So, we're gonna try to play this, and I have very low hopes for this right now. Okay, so let me get a read. So this is still intact.
Okay, so now I'm gonna put this on my saxophone. Consider this a before the overhaul video. God. All right, let's try it. I'm gonna finger a C sharp. Why not? Safe note. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna go down to G. So C sharp, B, A, G. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, this might be repairable after all. Forgot. So that was, I fingered a D and it came out as a D sharp. But that's because those keys are destroyed. Just know I cannot finger a low D natural or a high D natural for that matter. Let's try the side keys. It's actually not too irreplaceable. Let's see if a C sharp would work. What would that sound like? Okay, well, if the D sharp is open, nothing down there is gonna play. So I should have known that. Um, let me try up an octave. Okay, Altissimo is fine. So my D natural doesn't work and the key action just feels terrible. So this is definitely repairable, but now I need to ship it off. So let me go do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the post office, buy the necessary materials, and then I'm gonna ship it off. Oh wait, I have bed head, I forgot. I gotta fix it before I go out in public. Amazing. I'm approaching my car. I'm having flashbacks. Here it is. That's the wheel that did it. That's the wheel that destroyed my love. How could you? Oh man, and when I tell you my heart dropped, my heart dropped. I have arrived. It's time to begin the healing process. Okay, so they don't have a box or the amount of bubble wrap that is needed to enwrap the saxophone. So I'm going to go to a few stores and see if I can find it myself. Great, that's what I needed. Dude, I just stopped by UPS and look at this line. Great, great. Okay, she just wrapped my saxophone. What's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine, thank you, Jasmine. You're welcome. All right. Okay, everything's done, and I counteract some of the sadness from this with a blizzard from Dairy Queen. Um, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for 47.5 thousand subscribers. Incredible! So I guess in the meantime, what should I do? I was thinking about a live stream playing Super Smash Brothers against my subscribers and doing a Q&A at the same time, or transcribing a solo without the instrument part two. There's all kinds of possibilities, and in the meantime, I will practice a lot of piano because piano always helps your jazz improvisation chops on saxophone. Okay, stay safe.